Good afternoon everybody, or morning, afternoon, who knows whatever time I'm uploading this vlog, it is that time. Morning, afternoon, sure. Um, this video is going to be a bit of an introduction slash um, health update. Because I realised I've uploaded a few vlogs now, but people that are new to this channel don't really know who I am. Um, but I kind of want to make it short and sweet at the same time. But yeah, um, so please excuse that dog in the noise in the background. That is the dog. Don't ask why I keep doing this either. I don't know. Anyway, so let's start off with the basics. Um, my name is Georgie. I am 28. Um, I live with my partner Jacob, which you would have seen in... Um, my previous videos, also known as Yak, or Wench, or Wenchy. <laughs> um, we've been living in our house now for two years. We purchased it back in 2018. We both work for the NHS, um, and I uh, love it. Jacob currently works from home, whereas I still go into the office. I am obsessed with Disney sure you would have known. I actually think I've worn this jumper a few times now. I do wash my clothes, I promise. Uh, and you can still hear the dog in the background. Um, yeah, I am literally obsessed. But, do you know what? I don't care. I may be 28, but I love it. We both love it, to be honest. Ever since Jake, me and Jake have been together and he came out for the first time and saw me when I was working out there, he's loved it ever since. The next question that I get a lot recently is um, what uh, is this channel going to be based on? What's it for? Um, back in 2015 when um, I did work it out in Florida, um, I was going to vlog back then or I wanted to vlog back then but I just didn't have the right equipment, didn't have the right camera um, and to be honest I didn't really have the confidence to do it. Um, but do you know what? I thought, why not just do it now? It's a good time. It's something as a hobby of mine that I can do. I enjoy doing it now. Um, and what have I got to lose? If I enjoy doing something, I'm not going to keep sitting back and not do it anymore. And I just think, do you know what? Eventually I will be able to get back to Disney. I hope. Um, and when I do get back out there, then yeah, that is what. I will be doing my main vlogs will be then be based on Disney um, for now it'll be based on what I do here and other little things I guess um, don't get me wrong Disney will be a lot in these vlogs because it's still in my everyday to day life whether that be from buying clothes to stuff that I've got in my home from watching a movie whatever um, yeah it's still in every day but that really is what my main channel will be about eventually um, when lockdown finishes and we can finally go out and do stuff. But for now, you're stuck with me. Um, so yeah, the next thing I wanted to speak about was my health update because I know I've been mentioning in a few other vlogs in the past um, regarding issues. Um, and I just wanted to touch base on them really. Um, so the first thing is, um, back in 2017, I was diagnosed with endometriosis. Um, I actually got diagnosed quite quickly in comparison to a lot of people, because I know it does take a while, but mine was actually picked up on by mistake. Um, I went in for a procedure because they thought that my bowel was attached to my womb. Um, but in actual fact, when they'd gone in there to do that procedure, um, they actually realised that I had endometriosis instead. Um, and so yeah, ever since then, I've been diagnosed with stage 1 endometriosis. Um, I am currently in talks still with my gynaecologist. As a few years on, I'm still suffering um, a little bit. Um, and I might have to have another procedure done, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, that, that's just the first little bit. Um, the second part is 
my most recent issues. They happened back in October 2020 where I was just at home. Um, I was actually putting some vinyl on my table um, and I just all of a sudden just became really faint. Um, my heart was racing, I was sweating, my blood pressure was through the roof. I was trembling so I called 111 and they advised for me to get straight down to the hospital so that's where I went um, and whilst there they done an ECG um, they done my bloods and everything else and at the time they thought it was a heart arrhythmia they discharged me and advised that I need to see a cardiologist um, Almost four weeks to the day later, I had a second episode, um, which I, I just wasn't expecting. And again, at this time I was at work. I wasn't doing anything other than just sitting down at my desk. Um, again, heart palpitations, you know, like I was going to faint. But the advice that I was given when it happened the first time was that if it happened again, I needed to call 999 straight away. So I did. Um, ambulance came out and they took me straight to hospital done more checks on me done another ECG everything else discharged me and said you just need to wait and see the cardiologist but if it happens again unfortunately you need to come back into hospital which for me is just so disheartening because I hate going into hospitals I hate needles if you know me you know I hate needles I am a big baby when it comes to them I just hate them so much um so yeah anyway um in the meantime i'd spoken to my gp they had put me on medication to help um and unfortunately then a week later after being on that medication it happened again so i went back into hospital same thing again you need to see the cardiologist anyway um, you will have seen in my previous vlog that that I only put up a couple of days ago that um, I said that I think I also had another episode over the weekend on Saturday. Um, but I think I managed to control it. Either that or it just wasn't as severe. Um, but either way, I had a little wobble but nowhere near as bad as what they usually are so either something's working or who knows um but as it stands they don't really know what it is um for me the main thing is that it happens almost to the day every four weeks i, I always thought it was a hormonal thing um until I mention that each time when I go to the hospital, I've mentioned it to my GP. I even mentioned it to today because I went and saw my gynecologist today. Um, I even mentioned it to her and they they don't think that that's the problem. They think the problem is still with the heart. Um, it could be a hormonal thing that triggers it, but the horm hormone isn't the problem. Um, they also mentioned once, I think it was the first time that I went into hospital, that it might have a link um, back from when I uh, suffered with an eating disorder and I was anorexic back in for many years, starting from 2009 I think it was. So for many years I suffered um, with that and I think they might have a link with it. but no one knows right now so it's just a matter of waiting for the cardiologist and seeing what happens because I don't know but for now it's a waiting game um, unfortunately due to the strain that the NHS is under at the moment and I appreciate all of their hard work um, it is taking a little bit longer to get these referrals done and to be seen by a specialist um, so I've just got to wait right now and see what happens and try and manage it as best as I can at home. Fingers crossed that I don't get another big episode and that the medication that I'm on is working because he also did up the dose in my medication. Um, but yeah, who knows? Just have to wait and see. But anyway, that's just a little short update that I wanted to give you all. 
Um, but yeah, other than that, that's me at the moment. <laughs> but if you do have any questions, please put them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them um, as best I can. Um, but for now, I'm going to relax for the rest of the day, take it easy, um, just because it's not been great over the past few days. But yeah, I will uh, catch up with you all soon. Potatoes.